everybody welcome back to the kitchen so I hope you uh, like the kielbasa dish and I hope you like the grilled cheese with bacon tonight I am going to be cooking a thing I call the trash can burger it's gonna have a variety of ingredients I'm cooking for seven people tonight um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead with food prep I'm gonna get started on that then I'm going to uh, make it easier and put them in certain containers so that way when we go out to the griddle and we get started, the cooking really flows, people get out a nice hot meal. Let's walk you through some of these steps. So I have a smaller tomato. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to slice off the end, both sides. Now I've got seven people. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And just a little bit left over. So I've cut both ends of the onion, turned it up, and I've cut right down the middle. Now I'm going to take one piece, I'm going to put it to the side, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to peel that first layer of junk right off of it. We're going to get rid of that. We'll discard that. Make sure this film, this tiny little film stuff is off of there too. Right? Rub that up. Wash it out. Bring it back. You start slicing your onion. And don't worry, that other piece isn't going to go to waste. I have other meals that I plan on using the onion for. Alright, now we're bringing back the bacon like we did with the grilled cheese. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut them right in half. That, that way everybody gets two slices of bacon on their burger. See how easy that was, folks? Real easy. You got your onion, your tomato, your bacon. Also, what you're not seeing off camera is I'm washing my hands every single time I'm touching something. I'm also washing off the onion the tomato, I washed off the board before we got into the meat, just so we don't have any cross-contamination of anything. So everything has been washed and everything has been cleaned. Now we've got the jalapenos. So we're gonna put some jalapenos in this dish. Some people have requested them some people don't want them, but it's a trash can burger. So it's going on mine regardless. Here we go. Jalapenos. Also, the burgers are going to have Monterey steak seasoning on them because that's what I like to use for them. And they're going to have the option of ketchup. Or sweet baby rays, sweet and spicy sauce, because it's a trash can burger. So there's the prep work, folks. Now we're going to take it to the grill. All right, folks, now that the prep work is done, we're back here at the grill. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to throw on the burgers, we're going to throw on the bacon. We're gonna begin some cooking. Okay, folks, so I've got a request for making the burger a few different ways here. Not everybody wants the uh, trash can. A few of us are gonna have it though. So I'm taking the Montreal steak seasoning. I'm just putting it on the burgers, making sure it gets all in the patties. So you can see that's on the cutting board over here. All right, got the steak seasoning in there. And I'm gonna throw them on the grill.
There we go. There we have it right there. Starting out with that. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna get my bacon. I'm gonna throw some bacon on here. Got four patties. We'll go with six slices of bacon for right now. All right, and we're going to cover that back up. Now what you don't want to do is you don't want to be pressing down on your burgers and getting the juice out of it all the time. You can lift it up lightly just to see how it's doing. The cheese are doing amazing already cooking on this, so I'm just going to turn down the heat a little bit. I don't need them to cook too fast. Not at all. Yep, looking amazing. Oh, ho, ho, baby, look at that. I'm liking that. Oh yeah, that's cooking up real quick. Like I said, we turn on the heat, and we wait. All right, my guests are arriving, so uh, whipping out the burgers, putting down all the good stuff like tomato, Jalapeno. I forgot to mention lettuce earlier. And we've got the onion here as well. Bacon. We're getting it done. We're getting it done. And you're going to see my trash burger at the end. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm down to the last two burgers. Uh, I got the rolls toasting. Everything else has been done. And then I'm going to make my trash can burger. I know I said don't repeatedly flip them. Unless I got the sun in my eyes, I want to make sure I can see what I'm doing here. So we did the burgers, bacon, we've had all the other goodies, lettuce, tomato, onion. Yeah, cheese, all the good stuff. All right, so for the trash can, I've got two patties. I put Montreal steak seasoning on. I'm gonna wait till they bleed up a little bit and then I'm gonna turn them. My bacon is already set. Then I'm gonna add the rest of my stuff on top of it. All right, so my bun is all toasted. I'm gonna add my lettuce. Then, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take bacon. All right. One on each. Then I'm adding. Then I'm adding jalapeno Monterey Jack cheese. Cover one of the burgers. Perfect. You'll see what I'm gonna do. Why only one? You'll see. Look at how that cheese just surrounds that bacon. Perfect. Perfect. And guys, you can make this indoors, you can make this outdoors on your grill. Real easy, very easy. Now that it's all melted down, I'm gonna take the cheese one first, put it on the bun. Then I'm gonna take the second one and I'm gonna put it 
on that cheese. So it looks like this. I'm gonna put the condiments on. Well, I should say lettuce, jalapeno, all that. Then the condiments. Okay, so we've got our burger. We've got the bacon, we have the cheese on it. Lettuce underneath, to support that burger juice from going through. Now, I'm gonna add some tomato. Put the tomato right on top, right there. Then I'm gonna add some onion that helps support the onion. Then I'm gonna add three jalapenos. So we gotta watch out there. Almost had an onion down, folks. <laughs> then we got the three jalapeno right there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add sweet baby rays, sweet and spicy. That's right, sweet and spicy. It's a little messy, but it's all well worth it. All right, we got our trash can put together. Let's get a bite. Messy burger, but really good. From my kitchen to your plate, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next meal.